What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight I have a second video here for you guys talking about even more updates for Modern Warfare 2 Season 3, an exciting new Black Ops Easter egg and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section which weapons do you guys want to see added in the third season of Modern Warfare 2's life cycle? Are there any fan favorites in particular you really want to see that were in Modern Warfare 19 or even some weapons that were in Modern Warfare 2 2009? Let me know how you're feeling down below in this video's comments. But earlier this afternoon, the official Raygun replica was revealed in the Call of Duty Online shop and it does cost $600. You can pre-order it right now and it will start shipping, I think, in June. So, Kami is the company behind the development of this ray gun replica and they typically do make really good replicas from various game franchises. So, the price definitely checks out, although I do agree with you guys that are probably going to say this in the comments, that is a pretty hefty price for just a single ray gun. It is a one-to-one -one in terms of how big a ray gun would be in real life. It looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but that is is fairly expensive for your average consumer. Now, I did make a Zombies video earlier this morning talking about everything we need to know so far about the Modern Warfare 2 Zombies game mode, which apparently did get leaked out yet again, and it's supposedly going to be releasing as a part of Sledgehammer's Modern Warfare 2 expansion coming out this fall. Check out that video, which is linked down below. But as I've been saying for years, if they go ahead and sell some affordable Zombies merch, such as toys or replicas, they'll sell like hotcakes. People that probably haven't even played Zombies for years might consider picking a Ray Gun up if they see it at a Walmart or a Target. I think it would do really good good so hopefully with the return of zombies which is either this fall or black ops 2024 we'll start seeing more zombies merch sold all over the world but with that being said today is march 27th which means that the memory maker weapon blueprint did release in cod 2.0 for free to celebrate three years of warzone so the cool thing about this blueprint is that if you equip a mastery camo on the skin itself you will start seeing an animated numbers effect that we saw over in cold wars life cycle and you'll get that every time you equip whether it's gold platinum uh, polyatomic even orion it's absolutely phenomenal Phenomenal looking and if you take off a mastery camo and look at just the blueprint itself it has various logos and icons from the different events we've seen in warzone over the last three years it's a really cool weapon blueprint let me know if you guys have redeemed it yet down below in this video's comments and how do you feel about a black ops easter egg here on the blueprint itself maybe Treyarch lent a helping hand with bringing the numbers effect to life here for cod 2.0 i just have to admit the cold war era of warzone one's life cycle might have been my favorite time to play warzone one i mean verdansk 84 was great and i love the red doors easter egg allowing you to go through and get into some high secret rooms to get some top rarity loot it was a lot of fun but still a missed opportunity as we talked about before on a recent podcast that we didn't get a giant easter egg added to verdansk 84 such as bunker 11 or the bank one that we saw during modern warfare's life cycle would have made sense considering the lore of black ops but hopefully with the black ops 2024 integration in a couple of years we'll see some crazy easter egg quests added into warzone 2 as well but with that being said to celebrate the three-year anniversary of warzone there are some more free rewards on the way that we'll be releasing over the next couple of days we still have a call card a vinyl and even a charm as you guys can see there on the official schedule but with that being said if you guys need more assistance with camel grinding for polyatomic or orion be sure to check out cod peter over on twitter his link is down below in this video's description now today i'm also seeing reports that five operators got removed from the warzone 2 selection menu but were not deleted from the base game modern warfare 2 i'm not sure exactly who all the five operators are but i am seeing the three athletes that were a part of the world cup event were removed from the warzone 2 operator selection menu but you can still equip them if you find them over in the base game of multiplayer or through your bundle locker and from there you can equip them in warzone 2 not sure why they made this change with the menu it's probably just a bug that'll get fixed in the next two-ish weeks with season 3's release but for those out there thinking they got scammed after buying those bundles you didn't they're just visible through a different menu and you can equip them through that other menu to then use in battle royale or even resurgence don't freak out too much but yes they are still there just for some reason not popping up in the ui as they are supposed to now keep in mind today when i'm recording this it is the 27th of march tomorrow the 28th is the release date of the xrk Generation Farah bundle featuring the first ability to actually play as far in game if you don't own the Red Team 1 for 1 pack. It'll feature some blueprints as well. I don't believe there's any Tracer Fire in that bundle, but then on March 31st, the Deep Water Ghost pack is finally also releasing in COD 2.0, and hopefully we'll end up seeing more Task Force bundles at some point in Season 3. But I'll probably be streaming a bit of a countdown to the release of Farah tomorrow. Hope to see you guys there, of course. We'll be running some open lobbies and trying out different bundles in the game itself. Now, the usual suspects, usually data mine early content for Call of Duty, have been posting more more and more information that they found with the mid-season 2 patch and as of today they did find some more icons for upcoming game modes across COD 2.0 of course we already knew about plunder solos through quads as well as warzone ranked but if you want to see the official icons for those modes i'll have them linked down below in this video's description can't show them on screen for obvious copyright reasons but the icons do exist for them which probably does mean that those modes are going to be coming no later than season 3 reloaded hopefully the start of the season but wouldn't be shocked if they also gatekeep the squad sizes for plunder like they did with resurgence where the season starts 
and you get maybe solos and quads, but not duos and trios for some reason. They'll probably do that with Plunder, unfortunately, but Warzone Ranked is also coming out from Treyarch at some point in Season 3. We also have icons for Capture the Flag, as well as a Mystery Icon. Not sure what it stands for or what mode it's for. Then we also have icons for Demolition and even Gunfight. So, thank God Gunfight is finally releasing with apparently four maps to start in Season 3. Really excited for that one. I absolutely loved Gunfight in Modern Warfare 19 and, of course, Cold War. Was also a fan of Champion Hill and Vanguard, but that mode never got any updates after the Alpha, which was really strange to see. But Demolition is also a fan favorite. Loved it in Black Ops 1. Absolutely adored it in Black Ops Cold War. And I believe it was in Modern Warfare 19, if I'm not mistaken. Don't really remember that game cycle all that much. But also, for those that want Capture the Flag, that mode is finally coming out, probably in Season 3, unless these icons popped up and are for future seasons. You should be seeing these modes relatively soon. But like I said before, and as you're seeing in the background gameplay here with Drop Zone, happy to see that all the fan favorite and iconic modes have already come back in Modern Warfare 2, so that hopefully for the remainder of the game's life cycle, we see actual original modes added into the game that were not in previous CODs, so hopefully we see something like that, like what Cold War did, where it added in all the fan favorites, all the party games, all those mosh pits, but then also added in original concepts throughout the later half of that game's life cycle. But we also have a new feature that's likely coming out in the next season or two, and this is being reported on from BK Tor over on Twitter. His link is also down below. He tends to post some spicy updates from time to time about upcoming Call of Duty content. So it looks like this is a feature that'll probably be accessible through every bundle, and that's the ability to actually test out death effects and tracer fire without having bought the bundle. So what it looks like here is that you'll be able to click on a bundle, and if it has tracer or death effects, there'll be a button you can click which shows a preview of that weapon being used in the firing range against an AI bot, and then you can see what death effect or tracer effect is visible from buying that bundle, which I think is surprising considering that I would have thought, hey, maybe to boost bundle sales, they're not going to allow you to preview certain elements of that pack early because they want you to buy it first, then check it out afterwards. Even though Cold War had an ability to preview finishing moves before you actually bought the bundle, Vanguard and Mono Warfare 2 don't have that ability, so I wonder if with this new feature to preview tracer and death effects, we'll also see an option to preview finishing moves before you even buy a certain pack in the game. That's huge. For those out there that want more clarity and transparency on what they're actually buying, this makes sense to me to have a feature like that, but maybe we'll get an expansion of the firing range with this option in Season 3, but hopefully no later than that. Now, with that in mind, we also got more information about every upcoming weapon in Modern Warfare 2's life cycle. So according to the breakdown that was just posted by Medenas, we're going to be seeing three more melee weapons, one battle rifle, two snipers, two pistols, two assault rifles, one shotgun, and even two SMGs. Sadly, no rocket launchers, but these are going to be the upcoming DLC weapons that we get for the remainder of this game's life cycle, likely five total seasons, but could even get a sixth. And the code names for what these weapons actually are also surfaced, and if you guys are gun experts, you'll probably recognize what some of these are, but for melees, there's Sword 02 Kamas, which is probably the Cali Sticks. For pistols, we have the Mike 2011 and the Tango 9. I believe the Tango 9 might be the Tech 9 from Cold War, which was a monster of a weapon, so that might end up breaking this game's multiplayer as well. For battle rifles, we have the NG Sierra, and then for shotgun, we have the T Sierra. For snipers, we have the India and the W Alpha. For assault rifles, we have the Helima and the Malima. And then for SMGs, we have the A Charlie 45 and the A Charlie 9. So let me know what you guys think these weapons are down below in this video's comments. Now, the Twitter account Task Force Leakers 1 for 1 did do a bit of a breakdown of what these weapons could be. So apparently, the Mike 2011 could be the Staccato 2011, which is the SDI 2011 that's in campaign already. The NG Sierra could be the M. MCX Spear, which is like the XM7, and then Tango 9, Tech 9, we already knew that. The A Charlie 45 could be the APC 45, as you guys can see, and the W Alpha could be the WA 2000, a classic weapon from Mono Warfare 2 2009. The T Sierra might be the Tavor T712, and lastly, the A Charlie might be the AP79, as you guys can see on screen. Again, just guesstimates based on what these code names are, which could be coming in a future season. Now, they continue by saying that Kamas could be the Kama, Malima could be the Masada ACR, and then the Halima could be the Helion, as well as the India being potentially the M200 Intervention, a rumored DLC weapon that I think everybody out there would want to see return at some point in the future. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on our brand new free weapon blueprint that released with the Black Ops Easter egg on it? How are you feeling about the updates regarding possible Season 3 content in terms of weapons and game modes and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.